Hey, hello, welcome to another video in the video lesson. So as you can finally see, I shifted to Windows. So I'm going to use Windows throughout this whole video lesson because most of the people taking this course are using Windows and that's, that's what I can tell because I don't know whenever I make videos on YouTube or, or if I use Linux or Mac in my videos, people ask me to do it in Windows because most people use Windows right that's the point so I switched to Windows and if you're not using Windows if you're using Linux or Mac do not worry at all or uh, almost 95% of the things that I show you that or that I teach you in this video lesson is same with Linux or Mac right so you don't need to worry if you're using any other operating system other than Windows right so let's get this started now we are into real business now we will start writing code but before start before actually uh, writing code you need to install Python and Java uh, on your computer so what I mean when I say you need to install Python and Java is that uh, you have to download a Pi Python installation file from the Python's website, official website, and you have to install it. So what this Python installation thing does on your computer is it basically installs the Python's compiler and interpreter. It installs the Python virtual machine and all the default libraries, uh, pre-built libraries, and all that stuff. So it's going to basically make uh, Python available for you on your system. So in this video, we'll be downloading Python and installing it on our computer. So let's get this started. In order to install Python, in order to download and install Python, you gotta go to python.org slash, uh, slash downloads. So that is a link to download Python. So here you can see uh, it says download the latest version for Windows. So yeah, it's recommended that you download the latest version of Python because it includes many improvisations and many security fixes and all that stuff. So just click on download. Python which whichever the latest version is while you're visiting the page just download it and there we go the download is done once the download is done just click on it and uh, yeah it's just going to say install Python this is an installation wizard to install Python so you can just say install now you don't need to click on the customize customize installation just click on install now so uh, here it also says it includes idle pip and documentation create shortcuts and file associations what it means is basically ideal is basically a editor or you know um, yeah like an editor to write your python code and to run it it also has a python shell so so that you don't need to use notepad or any other text editor to write your python code so if you click on this install it's going to install idle and it's going to install pip and it's also going to install the documentation pip is nothing bad if you want to you know download or install other libraries external libraries you can use pip to install them on your on your computer so anyways, just click on install now and that's going to ask you for the administrative rights. So just uh, give it the administrative rights and it says installing Python 3.7.3, right? So yeah, let's just wait until this thing gets over, right? And it's honestly not going to take a lot of time to install it. Uh, it's really, really simple. Right, so it says setup was successful and yeah, that's it. You can just click on close now and you are successfully you have successfully installed uh, the python so just open command prompt and you can type in python python 3 and it enter, it enter and if it says python 3 is not recognized as an internal or external command just try python and there you go uh, yeah python works so you can either type in python 3 or python so you can see python 3.7.3 is the is the version of Python that uh, we have installed uh, as you can see that's the latest version as of now so just type in Python and if you can see something like this which says the uh, which says the version of the Python then it means you have successfully installed Python on your computer and if it says that Python is not recognized as an internal or external command it's basically because you have not added Python to your environment system and environment variables so yeah, uh, in order to add Python to system and environment variables, you just got to go to the place where Python is installed. So it's installed in a C app. I don't know. You just you can just Google uh, where Python is defaultly installed on a Windows computer. You can just go to the directory, copy the path, and then you can come over and go to system variables. So it says edit the system variables. 
click on that and click on environment variables and uh, here you can see a variable that says path so if you double click on it you can see some a list like this and uh, yeah there you go um, here you just click on new and add the py path of python right add, just add the path of python over here and that's it you'll be able to access python from anywhere on your computer but since uh, since you can see that I'm not getting any error that says Python is not recognized as an internal or external command uh, I don't need to do it but actually you know what I will just go Google it uh, Google just to show you how it's done so I'll say where is Python 3 installed uh, Windows Windows 10 right so you can just Google something like that Okay, so this guy over here says that Python is uh, usually installed in either of these two direct directories. So let's go to uh, localisk C. That's probably where your Python will be installed. And Python 27 is installed, but actually I I deleted this Python 27 because I wanted to show you the latest version of it. So let's go. It's uh, users logged in user app data. Yeah, there we go. This is the app data. It's a hidden folder, and then this uh, local programs, and then yeah, there you go. Python and Python 37. So, uh, in case if you are facing an error that says Python is not recognized as an internal or external command, you got to come to this path over here, uh, which is local disk C or whatever your, is your system drive and then users and then your logged in username and then app data local programs python python 3 7 or whatever the version name is so I just got to copy this path over here and now you got to come over here and uh, go, come to the system environment variables and double click on the variable path and here you got to you got to click on new and then paste that path over here and click ok right click ok click ok again and yeah that's it now that must fix your problem again so let me show you uh, now what you need to do is just open your command prompt and type in Python and there we go that must fix your problem right so Python 3.7.3 is a version that I've installed on my computer so yeah we have successfully installed Python and that's it for this video from the next video we'll see how to write code in Python right so now let's skip to the part where I will show you how to actually install Java. So we have installed Python. Now let's go ahead and install Java on our, on our computer, right?